Welcome everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve system of simultaneous equations using the Casio FX115 ES Plus calculator. I will go through problems with two and three variables. First thing first, we have to make sure that we have the equation in standard form as it is shown here. That means we line out the x variables first and then y variables second. The numbers are on the right side of the equal sign. So on the calculator, I go to the menu button and I will choose five, which is the equation solver. Now we can see that we have four choices here on the calculator. The first choice is the one that we will use for our first question here. We can see two equations and two unknowns, x and y. x and y are the unknowns uh, with coefficients a, b and c, as it is shown here, a, b and c. So I choose number one, you see a, b and c and the variables x and y. I choose number one. In the first question that I have here, first we have to figure out the coefficients at the end the variables, and of course the numbers. And then we will insert these values here in the calculator. So we have three, five, minus seven, one, four, minus 14. So I will enter these values now. Three equal. 5 equal minus 7 minus 7 equal 1 equal 4 equal minus 14 equal and now as I enter these values in order to see the solution for these linear equations, I will press the equal sign here. Now, as I can see, we can see that we have, for x, we have 6, and I press equal, for y, I have minus 5. So, if you need to go between the values, for the x and y, you just go with the down and up arrow and you will see x, 6, y, minus 5. Okay, next one. We press AC, the all clear button here. But we can see now in our second question, we have three variables, three unknowns, x, y and z. First, we have to make sure that we follow the standard equation form here. And we have lined our variables x, y, z and the numbers. The most important thing and is the numbers should be on the right side of the equation. On the calculator, we, co we go to the menu button. 5 for our equation solver. And since we have three unknowns, we will choose the second option here with the three unknowns, three variables x, y, and z by pressing 2. Now I will enter the values 10 equal 3 equal 10 equal 5 equal 8 equal minus 2 equal 9 equal 3 equal 8 equal 1 equal minus 10 equal 7 equal now when finished before going to the solution you can use the arrows here and make sure you've entered the values cor correctly 
up and down value arrows and left and right and then press equal for the solution now we have for x we have 252 over 403 since we have here a fraction if you need to see the solution in a decimal you just press this sd key here and you will see the decimal number number if you need to return to fraction you will press the same key and you will return to the fraction mode so equal for the y 75 over 403 again if you need a decimal just press this key here equal z minus 73 over 403 again you can use the arrows to go between the solution and now our last question in this question we can see here that it really doesn't matter what letter there is in the equation is it x1 x2 x3 or is it x y and z as on these questions as long as they are aligned as per the as per the standard equation form it can be any letter we just have to make sure that they are consistent so let's do this one all clear i'll press it again all clear and then four equal one equal now here right here we can see that i don't have any x3 variable so it means it is equal to zero i will just enter zero here since zero is a number as well and then two eleven one two three you see you're aware that if there is no number it means it is one one five equal two equal one equal so to see the solution we just press equal and now here it is for x we have five over 13 again if you need to see the decimal just the sd key here equal it is y here but in our example it is x2 so it this is just the same just the letters are different so it's 16 over 30 6 over 13 pardon me and z minus 11 over 13 that's it to conclude having this calculator it can save us a tons of time but most important it can help us with calculations especially with more complex one like on the second and on the third question here so in these questions we can easily make a mistake by doing it on hand this calculator can guarantee the right result thanks for watching